that little toy, it will never help anyone. Why won't you work, Spark? Maybe they're right. Maybe you're too small. The lantern is flickering. The lantern is going What's down. happening? To What's happening lantern? to the lantern? <gasps> oh no. The lantern's gone out. What's that toy doing? What is it doing? It will ruin it. The lantern is ruined. The spark has done it. It's working. Even the smallest spark can light up the dark. Pretty cool, right? I made that entire animated shot in less than an hour without spending a single dollar. Let me show you how I pulled it off. Now, before I show you step by step how I created this, let me quickly explain what you're about to learn. In this video, I'll show you how I use three free AI tools to write the story, design characters, write script, generate images and turn the images to lip sync video, and edit the video using CapCut. Every great movie starts with a story. The problem, I'm not a writer, at least not a good one. So I asked ChatGPT to help me out. On ChatGPT, the first thing I did was explaining what I need and yeah, I don't have a story. So I tell it that I want to create a 30 seconds animation video using AI. Then for this, I need a story, give some story outline, I also need the characters with some dialogues to make it professional. After ChatGPT gave me a nice story outline with title Little Spark, which also included the plot, characters, and scene-by-scene -scene dialogue. Next, I need a one-shot image prompt for my character so I can have their visuals ready. I started with Leo, my main character. I instructed ChatGPT to generate a one-shot text-to-image prompt to visualize Leo and the result was perfect. The generated prompt gave a detailed description of Leo which you can use in any AI text-to-image generation tools. Now, I repeated the same for my second character which is Spark. And also for the third character, the villager. The prompts are detailed like the rest and we are good to go. Now, I need the frontal view of each character starting from Leo. I told ChatGPT to write a text to image prompt to for Leo frontal view character sheet against a white background. And I paste the old prompt of Leo for ChatGPT to understand the context which might not be necessary. Like always, the result is perfect for our animated short. Repeat the same thing for the other characters to get their frontal view prompt which we will be using in the next step of this tutorial. The next phase of prompt generation is to get the prompt for the environment of each scene. In our script outline, we have two scenes, the one at workshop and the one at village square. So we will be starting with the workshop. Here, I instructed ChatGPT to write a prompt for a dimly lit Pixar style workshop, not hyper realistic, and it generated a nice prompt which we will be using to describe the environment in our workshop scene. Repeat the same for the village square by telling ChatGPT to write a prompt for Pixar style village square scene where villagers are watching. Finally, on prompt generation, we will be generating a short composition prompt for each scene with multiple shots per scene, each with detailed prompts that you can feed into AI animation and image tools. To make it cinematic, we will tell it to alternate camera angles, movements, and framing so it feels like a real Pixar style short film. So, instruct ChatGPT to write short composition for each scene and each scene should contain multiple scenes to deliver the message in a cinematic way. Each scene composition should contain a full detailed prompt. Also, make sure the camera alternates, don't use the same camera angle for immediate scene. Now, it generated multiple prompts describing each shot in each scene. Okay, here's the thing, a story is just words. How do you turn that into something you can actually see? That's where the real magic starts. This is where Google Waste comes in. It's a free AI tool that can generate insanely detailed images from simple prompts. On Google Waste, 
let's bring our characters to life and to do that we will use the subject prompt space let us start with leo go to copy the frontal view prompt of the first character from chat gpt i have also compiled the prompt in a document which is at the description of the video paste the prompt to google wiz to generate the image Let's repeat the same process for the other characters. Click the plus icon to add a new subject, then copy and paste for the other character. Click generate and you should have the image in few seconds. Let's repeat for the last character in speed mode. Now, let us generate our first scene. Copy the prompt for the workshop scene and paste it in the same space and you should have the image generated. Repeat the same step for the village square scene to get the image of the scene. Now that we have generated both the characters and the scene, we now need to combine the characters, the scene and the scene prompts to generate a perfect and consistent character images for each scene. Copy the prompt for the first shot of scene 1. On the subject, make sure you only select the character and the scene that is referenced in the prompt. Do not select characters that are not included in the prompt and don't select wrong scene if you do not want to generate wrong representation of your story. Also. Note that you can only select a maximum of two characters and one scene path generation on Google Wisk. Now paste your prompt and generate. We now have a perfect pictorial representation of the shot. Select the one you prefect out of the generated images and download it. Again, copy the prompt for shot 2 from ChatGPT and paste the prompt to Google Wisk. Make sure the right subject and scene is selected and then generate the shot. After generation, download the shot you preferred. Repeat the process for the remaining shots. These look like actual storyboards you'd see in an animation studio, but they're still just pictures and pictures don't move. So how do you turn still images into an actual movie? That's the next step. For video generation, I used Grok Imagine. Open Grok and on the sidebar click on Imagine as we will be using Grok Imagine for our video generation. Click upload file and select the first short image we downloaded from Google Whisk. Grok Imagine will automatically convert the selected image to video. You can download the video clip if you like the generated one or input the prompt at the custom option to generate a better version. Repeat the same process for the second shot.
I guess. Then a frog. Yeah, we want Leo, the said, character, to say, why won't you walk, Spark? Maybe they're then right. Maybe you're too small. I Just like the plot. We will copy the word and paste it at the speech option and regenerate the video. Hey, I guess. Then a hey, I guess. Then a frog. Ours found since right is fight, right swa wa day. I guess then a frog. Ours found since right is fight, right swa wa day. I guess then a frog. Ours found since right is fight, right swa wa day. I guess then a frog. Ours found since right is fight, right swa wa day. I guess then a frog. Ours found since right is fight, right swa wa day. I guess then a frog. Why won't you work, Spark? Maybe they're right. Maybe you're too small. Now, repeat the same process for the remaining shots. Now, I had a moving film, but it still didn't feel like a professional-looking animated movie. This is where CapCut comes in. It's free, easy to use, and honestly makes the biggest difference. So. I use CapCut to edit in the animated short, adding effects, transition and removing unwanted clips. On CapCut, import all the shots and add them to the track in sequential order. Now, add transitions after each scene to make it cinematic. You should also add background music to the shot to create a tension and resolution sound effect which will add a good difference on your editing. Also remove any unwanted part of the clips. Lastly, for the background voices of the villagers, I use the free text-to-speech tools called Minimax Audio. You can find tons of cool voices there to generate background voices for your editing. I have added the link at the description of this video. You can now export your video and your animated shot is ready. Now you've seen how I made a full animated shot with free AI. But here's the thing, this is just the beginning. In my next videos, I'll show you more AI tools, AI agent tutorials and tech tips. So make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell and trust me, you don't want to miss my next update. See you on the next one.